Elio guys and welcome back. So today we have another blessed review. This is coming from Amikage. We're gonna check out his mom box and of course do probably a, either a Golems B10 run or a Golems B8 run just so I can get an idea of what we're working with and we're gonna go ahead and see what he has going on. Um, Amikage you need to get up on that Tower of Chaos my dude because you haven't done any at all and we can always use free nat 5s and free nat 4s but let's check if he has like a b8 team okay so he's not running b8 currently he is running b10 let's go ahead and go right through this real quick and see how well they do uh he does have a light succubus which is splendid for having an sp battery which is definitely definitely nice and i definitely wish i had one but unfortunately your boy doesn't not yet at least not yet All right, let's go ahead and do this. I know there's stupid settings that I need to take off, but we'll just speed this up. We'll put it on auto, and he's running light suck. I'm assuming dark Miho for damage, but she doesn't really need to be there for damage, especially with her being a dark type. And then two fire. Uh, Persephone's for sap. Uh, I'm curious to see if they're on siphon set or not. Maybe they aren't. Maybe that one just got lucky though. Again, not sure why Dark Miho is here. But so far, so good. I'm really really curious maybe you can just get rid of your dark miho and stupid boss scene but maybe you can just get rid of your dark miho and put in either a better nuker or a better wave clearer like fire siegfried if you have a tina if you have a dark mona if you have a sarah any of those instead of dark miho but we'll just have to see what you got going on with your mom box and i went ahead and just um aim towards him because 10k a hit isn't really much and I mean Golems B10 isn't about damage it is about sap after a certain point which could be slowing your runs down So yeah, this is definitely bottlenecking your runs, and um, those animations are atrocious, but it took you two minutes to do that run. It was 10 out of 10 safe, but I'm sure, I'll sell that one for you because it's five star, but I'm sure you can get that down, especially with a light succubus that you already have super evoed and two evo two purse. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can get that down. But let's go ahead and check out your mom box because your time wasn't amazing. It's okay, but I wouldn't recommend be doing B10 with that team because two minutes, you could do two runs of B8 in the same time. But let's check out what we have here. I like to do it by elements. So he does have a Fire Leo, which is super evoed, which I'm assuming that you want to work on eventually, which I would definitely recommend. Uh, he's a great... He's just a great nuker, especially if you like to do clan versus clan. I use him there quite a lot. Uh, not so much titans because, you know, sea strikers are a lot more better than he is. But definitely a great mod to have, especially if you're looking for a fire nuker, which it looks like you may not really have. So definitely build him when you can. Obviously, he's going to need max crit rate. Again, you don't have to have it on a set. You can give him a broken set if you can spare the gems. So don't worry too much about having him on a set or not, but obviously Ruin would be like optimal. Um, you have two fire purse. It looks like they're both on broken sets, which is fine. You have them attack, HP, attack, which is fine. I mean, that's perfectly fine. That's all they need. You could add in intuition if you wanted to for some extra crit. But again, their mechanic is sap, so I have no complaints about these. These are perfectly fine. 
And you do have a water purse as well, which is nice. But where you're at in the game, water purse isn't very necessary. Uh, you do have a Evo 3 vampire, which is actually surprising. Um, he's also a great nuker, but Fire Leo kind of wins out in my opinion because not only does Fire Leo have books, but he has a super evolution, unlike Vampire, but he's triple square master race and looks like you have nearly max crit on him. And you do have some good resist on him as well. So you could definitely use him, I'm assuming, probably in B9, if you've been farming B9. And again, in Clan vs. Clan, PvP maybe, but not so much. But he's, he's fine, dude. He's fine. Finish up that gym whenever you get a chance and have at him. He's crit rate, attack, and attack. You have him full glass, nothing wrong with that. I forgot her name already. I'm sorry. But uh, Fire Jack. Fire Jack. Uh, if you have any interest in doing Titans, this might be a decent Titans mod. Maybe not like super duper amazing, but this should be like a decent Titans mod. If you're interested in doing that, there's probably better alternatives, but you can always build her HP defense defense or defense defense HP and she should do quite well. Uh, definitely give her some type of resist subs or maybe a conviction set and have at it. Looks like you might have been working on your fire Miho, but you gave up. Once again, more of a Titans Mon. Again, not the best Titans Mon, but you can use her. But her main purpose is debuffing and pretty much debuffing. Even though she did get a skill change where her HP siphon heals everyone. So I would definitely recommend HP, HP defense on her. But in, in like clan versus clan and stuff, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You're better off using Light Miho, especially after her buff. You do have a Fire Odin and you have a Gleam. And she's Evo. Uh, I mean, she's not Evo, but she is Variant, which that's pretty... That's pretty clean, man. Congrats. So if you could pull some more Odins, or if you have some Odins in your box, that would actually be quite beautiful. But uh, congrats on that. Um, Fire Odin is a really, really great debuffer in my opinion. You can use her in Titans. You can use her in Clan vs. Clan. You can use her in Colossus. You can use her pretty much anywhere you need a debuffer. I would try and keep her unless you pull a Light or Dark Odin. I would try and keep her at Evo 2. If you plan to do any of that content, so definitely keep her around and build her up when you can. HP defense, defense, or HP defense, uh, de HP defense, defense, or HP HP defense again with the resist should do her fine. She's not there for damage; she's there for debuffing. Next up, we have Nightmare. You might just been evoing her to Evo two in case you pull another one. In my opinion, she is not that useful compared to the other ones, especially like the water and the wood. Even though wood can be countered now by fire jackas, so I would hold out on her in my opinion. Thirst can be useful, but as the 5 star skill, not so much in my opinion. You have a uh, fire ender though, and he does have a square slot on him. Not necessary, but with elemental edge and seal on him, He's definitely a strong PvP mon if you can get him built correctly and hopefully maybe on like a pugilist set or like a ruin set. So if, again, if you're interested in sticking your toes into PvP, uh, I would definitely recommend getting him to Evo 2 if possible. If you do have any other Endras and you're interested in Titans, then definitely just feed him to your water one. That's what I did because I have other mods for PvP. Feed him into your water one and have at it, my boy. Just have at it. Next up, we have uh, Fire Siegfried. Again, he doesn't need a square. Uh, if you need a Mon, if you don't have one of the Mons I mentioned during your B10 run, throw him on a Siphon set and have at it. He doesn't need a square. You can give him triple attack. Let the dude do his job, and he should help you clear out story stages quite well. So definitely keep that in mind if you do want to invest in him. Of course, aim for Evo 2. Obviously Evo 3 would be the best, but that's if you don't have any other mon that you're building for your siphon set At the time I didn't have any other mons to use So of course I invested in into my Siegfried, but now I don't use him as much especially with fire Draka Because it's freaking it's freaking fire Draka fire Draka And then we have Hades. I'm not sure if you have another Hades. Okay, you do have another Hades Curse is useful if you have a whole bunch of mods with curse, but if you don't have a whole bunch of mods with curse 
in my opinion just feed him so if you're interested in titans again just feed this one to the water one you have two sun wukongs so two great titans mons as well so i definitely would recommend titans for you if you're interested in that as something to do in late game but you can build them with maybe hp attack attack uh on a leech set or you can build them um essentially full glass if you want if you have the mons to back them up but get them to evo 2 try and aim for evo 3 on one of them but do not feed one of the fire ones into the others do not do that it's not worth it just keep them at both at evo 2 man and they should serve you quite well and then we have fire merlin here which is triple square master race i might keep him just because he's triple square master race but again if you're hardcore into titans give him to wood merlin he is nice because he does come with marabus and hunter but you do have your fire leo and you do have your fire vampire that you can raise up as well and b9 isn't as useful as b10 but again if you're doing if you're going for titans i would feed him if you're not get him to evo 2 if you want but you know you can have him replace maybe your vampire i would keep leo instead Fire, Fire Balrona, not really worth it. Uh, you can give her to your Wood Balrona if you're interested in Clan vs. Clan or PvP and build her on like a Pugilist set with high resist for the Wood one. But Fire Balrona, in my opinion, she's not worth it. Fire Shiva, again, not worth it. There's other mons with stun that is a lot more easy to Evo 3 and a lot more easy to build than Fire Shiva. So. I wouldn't really worry about him too much. If you don't have Draka, I would just feed him. Just feed him. Uh, Wild Thing is another great sustainer for uh, B9. You can also use her in Dragons B8 if you plan on doing Dragons. This goes for your Fire Leo as well and your Fire Vampire. And bring in one of your Curas once you get him to Evo 3, hopefully. I mean, he can run Evo 2 at level 60, but get him to Evo 3 when you can. And you should be able to do Dragons B8 on auto. I mean, the run runs might fail, but probably 9 out of 10 runs, you should, you should succeed quite well. So definitely keep that in mind. And you can keep both of these and work on getting both of them to Evo 3 if you're interested in Titans. And for these, just, just do HP, Defense, and Recovery. Aim for some Resist subs. Aim for some Recovery subs. Congratulations, you beat the game. For Wild Fang, she does have a square, so in my opinion, I would opinion. In my opinion, I would go for Rune with her. You can either choose to go full glass with triple attack, or you can give her crit rate with double attack. Uh, she does a great job surviving, and you do have a couple of skill books with her, so the more damage she does, the more she's going to heal. You have another fire jack, so we've already been over that. Boltwing. You don't have an Evo 3 one, so we're not going to go there. I mean, he's okay. He's another debuffer, but because of his stat type, I would not recommend him for any content just because he's just too squishy. You have a Lily. You might be working on other Lilies. So, if again, if you're interested in Lilies, check out the video. I hope you have already, so I won't really divulge into her too much. You have a Fire Sura. Looks like you have a Light one, and you're working on the Water one, which is great. Uh, definitely feed him. You don't really need a mind that can heal everyone, especially if you have a light succubus. You don't need you don't need a mind that can heal if you're clearing the waves out faster than they can do damage to you. So don't worry about that. Um, you do have a triple square master race incubus. Again, a great titans mon, not the best, but he's an okay titans mon. Evo two is fine. Don't invest too much into him, but if you need a sea striker to fill up the slot, at least for now, he's okay. You have more Kiras, so definitely work on them. And I'll just skip the rest of those because there's no point. Um, Neza is a great debuffer as well for Titans if you're interested in that. And maybe Clan vs. Clan, but I like to more I like to go more offensive in Clan vs. Clan than defensive. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And I'll just bypass these because they're all. Nat 3's and Gatito. And you have Miho and Radish. Rad Eye or whatever. Okay, so for your Water Sura, 
he's gem fine. I mean, he is a tank. I'm not really sure why you have the resist up there. I mean, I can understand that, I guess. But, I mean, he's fine. He has max crit. He's there to stun, not really do damage. Get him to Evo 3 when you can. I definitely love my Water Sura. I still use him to this day in, like, Tower of Chaos. Especially for Hades, so definitely recommend it for him. You do have a Water Valk at Evo 2. Let's see what she has. Attack. Attack. And attack. So you have her triple glass. She is kind of flimsy, though, so you could put her with attack attack HP instead and aim for crit rate subs if not I mean this set is okay but it's not optimal you can give her a broken set maybe with higher crit rate and resist if possible but I would definitely give her probably HP attack attack in my opinion and you can get away with using her in um, golems b8 if you want so that's definitely a great place to use her in other than that she's far too squishy in my opinion to use her anywhere else Water Barona, again, another great Titans Mon. It's nice that you have her to Evo 2. Again, aim for HP, attack, attack on a leech set if possible. You can go full glass if you want, if you have the Mons to do it, but aim for her like that. You have two Monas as well, so I hope you're doing B8. But definitely get them to Evo 3 if you're going to do B8. Uh, I personally run two. Two water monas and two other, actually, two other mods on siphon sets for my B8, so my time is less than a minute, which is great for money. But if you're gonna be serious about making money, definitely get at least one of these to Evo 3. Uh, you could probably run B8 with Mona, Balrona, and Valkyrie. And then you have Shelly, a great debuffer for Titans once again. You can run him probably HP defense defense or HP attack defense if you want. Alright, so going back in, I left off on Shelly. Um, Shelly's a great Titan uh, debuffer. Of course, just make him survive. Uh, there's just a jury out on Shelly, though, I believe. People are saying that Water Seedler might be a little bit more better because Water Seedler has double defense down, is also bookable, and you don't have to worry about Water Seedler hogging up blue souls like I believe Shelly does. But again, with your Monas, you can definitely use them for B8. Water Siren. Water Siren is useful, but not really. You could bring her as a healer in Titans, but you're better off just using a Katine because they actually bring something else to the table, i.e. their defense up. But, I mean, I wouldn't really invest too much in Water Siren. She's an okay healer, but for Titans, there are better choices. Uh, Wet Miho is also a great choice for B10, but since you have Fire Purse, there's no point in Wet Miho, even if you book her up, even if you super evo her, she still gets out damaged by a natural 5 star Mon, so we'll just don't even bother with her. You do have a Water Artemis as well. I mean, you could choose to run her or your purses, but you already have two evo 2 Persephones that, you know, that do enough damage. So Artemis, again, is optional but to those out there who don't have a fire purse definitely go for artemis if you don't have either one see if you have any other nat 5 sappers or nat 4 sappers and then if you don't definitely go for white miho because you can't go wrong water purse is another great she's a great um mon over overall i mean you can use her pretty much anywhere but with where you're at and the mons that you have you don't really need to use her but you could get away with using her in clan versus clan or PvP defense, really. If you build her with high resist, if you could somehow get her to Evo 3, that would be even better. But with high resist and even on something like a pugilist set, like she could definitely be a big threat. Which, I mean, I fought some water purse before. And most of them aren't a threat, but some of them just straight up just make me want to curse. And then you have another water Sura that you're working on. Not sure why you have two of them because you have other mons that stun so i'm not really sure what you're doing about him but you know i have one and one for me is enough but i don't know what your plans are with that uh on my og you do have one with a square i wish i could pull a water on my og once again a very very strong water mon i'm not sure if you've seen um jamin's on my og spotlight but jamin's on my og can straight one shot the golem and b8 
So, I mean, if you had this one at EVO 2, I would definitely say go ahead and invest in her and get her on Ruin or Intuition as soon as you can because she does need crit and you could run her in your B8 team. But, I mean, you could still use her with some investment, but it will cost you some gleams. But she's overall a great hitter, great hard hitter. Not so much use in PvP because Fire Jack is the meta now or some stupid aggressors on Puge or Pug, however you want to call it. But you could probably get away with using her in Clan vs. Clan just as, as an attack mon and she could shred the other mons with her Devil Hunter. Water Merlin. Water Merlin is actually not a bad choice in my opinion for a siphon set if you can get him the evo 2 minimum he does require that investment just like fire siegfried but with fire siegfried you can actually farm out sigs and get him to evo 3 so investment wise he's probably more useful than fire sig i mean actually fire sig is more useful than he is because of that but if you didn't have a fire sig then i could see you using him but since you have a wood merlin just sacrifice this one feed him to wood merlin and keep it moving uh, you do have a Water Shinobi just like me. Personally, I mean, I've heard that he's not too bad in PvP with his Elemental Edge and then SP Siphon. Personally, I haven't used him at all. Maybe if you're interested in PvP, I would say invest in him. But he's very, very squishy, unfortunately. And you're going to have to give him an HP or Defense Gem, which is going to take away from his overall utility. So it's really up to you, but would I invest in him at the moment? I mean, I could always be wrong. Probably not. Probably not. Then your Water Sig, he's of course another Titans Mon, which kudos to you, you have all kinds of Titans Mons. Uh, get him to Evo 2 when you can, get him to e uh, level 60. And he should serve you quite well. Of course, you're just going to build him with HP attack attack if possible on a leech set. If not, you can go full glass or just do HP attack attack on a broken set and aim for that high resist minimum and let him have at it. Same thing with your Hades. Same thing with your Hades. I mean, Hades is balanced type 2, so he should survive perhaps a little bit more than your Sig. Perhaps a little bit more than you have... Uh, Water Garuda. Again, not too bad of a mon, but I would say his main uses would probably just... You could feed him to your Wood Garuda, my, in my opinion. I think Wood Garuda has C-Strike. Feed him to your Wood Garuda. There's no point in you investing in him when you have other mons, in my opinion. When you have another... Water Lucy, which again, is a great Titans mon. The only problem with her is the investment of 16 nat 4s in order to get her to evo 3 so do keep that in mind but she does have books and what is it 80 80 percent rate for the first one and then 70 percent actually 80 percent rate for both attack downs pretty darn snazzy pretty darn snazzy victoria if you need mons with double defense down and you don't want to invest in seedler or shelly of course, Victoria is a, sh is a choice. Bit costly, but you can get her to Super Evo. She's going to have higher stats than the other two. Something to take in mind. I'm not assuming that you're investing in any of these guys at the moment, so I'll skip them. I mean, there's no real uses for them anyways. I see you still have a lot of Suras. Definitely get that one Sur up to Evo 3 whenever you get a chance, though. Then you have two more Monas. You do have a triple square Mona, which... In my opinion, I would just keep, keep her. You could run Golems B8 with all of your Monas, but with other Monas that you have, there's no point. So just take one or two of your best Monas. I would take this one because she's aesthetic, but you already have two at level 50, so that's up to you. The rest, not so amazing. Um, Water Bulby isn't that bad, in my opinion. I do use her only in one of the Colossus. Because she has Shield Breaker, which she's on my second team in case my first team fails with Katin. That's her only use. Other than that, I don't use her anywhere else. I I don't even think I have her on my Titans team, but that's her only use in my opinion. I could be wrong, so if you guys have a Water Bulby, please let us know. 
Mowgli is not a bad choice either, especially if you can get one to Evo 3. If you're missing out on a hard hitting Elemental Mon, Mowgli is actually not bad at all, especially with the skill book. So I would love to see her return. Nothing else that's fancy over here. You do have Kateen, which is great. Uh, this one's great for Titans and also, again, like I said for Colossus, great for Colossus. So once you get a chance, definitely invest in him. You don't need to worry about it right now, but in the future, I would definitely think about it. And then you have a water incubus. I mean, not a water incubus, but a wood incubus on a siphon set. I mean, you have the right idea for the siphon set, even though your gems aren't perfect. I, I can understand that struggle. Everyone knows that struggle, but you just have it on the wrong mon. He doesn't need a siphon set. He needs crit. So either put him on intuition like most people, or if you can get him optimal, do ruin. But get him on intuition as soon as you can. Just give him crit rate, attack, HP, or crit rate, attack, attack. And he's a great farmer, especially for like glacial plains. Of course, you can use him in, I believe, Golem's B7, but I don't really run B7. Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much his uses, in my opinion. Again, another good clan versus clan mon if you're lacking wood attackers, which this game, at least in the past, was notorious with letting us down with the wood attackers but he's definitely a solid mon he just doesn't need that siphon set you do do have a wood hana though great for titans great for titans phenomenal get her to level 60 when you can hp defense recovery congratulations you're good to go this is sansing i believe i could be wrong um not a bad debuffer, 90% chance for her 3 star, and then 60% chance for her 2 star, and then you do have, I mean not 2 star, but 5 star, and you do, her at Evo, do have her at Evo 2 already, so, you know, a decent investment for the Water Titan, if you do want to get into Titans, I don't really see much wrong with her, she's a tank type, so HP, HP, Dribble HP is okay, I mean, you could definitely throw in a defense, or just aim for more resist and just let her have at it. Her main focus is debuffing and that's all that she's here to do. Then you do have that Wood Garuda. Um, from what I can tell, Wood Garuda is a phenomenal Titans mon, especially with his recent buff with that weekend. Definitely get him up as soon as you can. I would probably go HP attack attack if I were you. Take advantage of that weekend and his five star skill. Feed your other, other Garuda to him when you get the chance as well and have at it. Once again, great Titans Mon. Leech set whenever possible. Don't worry about that too much. But again, aim for crit rate subs if possible. Not really need it. But uh, at least resist subs. Uh, Wood Wukong, in my opinion, he's a double D buffer. We can get those or we can get a Mon with a 3 star skill that does the fence down. Just feed him to one of your Fire Wukongs. Then you have another Wood Garuda. Get this one Evo 2. Don't feed him at all. Just keep him at Evo 2. The same as the first one. And let him do his job. Wood Merlin. Same thing. Same thing, dude. You have all kinds. You you have a good balance of just Sea Strikers all around for your elements, man. Like, congrats. And, and you have Zubaji. Zubaji, I'm not sure if you saw her review. But I would definitely go HP attack attack on her. If you're brave do triple attack but even though she's a defender type the way her stats are you're perfectly fine building her more attack more attack wise than defense wise or hp wise so that's something to keep in mind you have a grass falc uh grass falc isn't too bad in pvp especially with the right setup if you have a whole bunch of annoying mons that can cc the other team or it just keeps healing and just keeps having all kinds of SP. She can definitely be a problem trying to kill. I would say on PvP defense or clan versus clan defense. Not so much offensive even though you can build her offensively. But I would definitely go for maybe HP attack defense on a resist set. You could do HP attack attack if you want a, bit, want a little bit more damage out of her. But her charm is that if built correctly she just won't die. She just won't die. Uh, another Sand Zang, we've already been over her. Wood Barona is a great choice if you're investing in PvP defense. Uh, I mean, again, we do have Fire Jacket, that is the new meta. 
unfortunately. But I mean, if you can get her hopefully on like a pugilist set, she could be fairly annoying depending on who you're fighting. At least clan versus clan because I don't know how many people have enough dragons to run six battles of clan versus clan with. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there with them, but they're probably far and few in between. And if you don't want to use her for PvP or clan versus clan because Fire Draca is the new meta, just feed her to your, uh, you're wet, Barona, and we can call that a day. Like, it's a wrap, dude. Paper or plastic. Uh, Hades. Again, it's nice having an HP aggressor and thirst, but we do have Fire Draca. I would just feed this one to your water one. Bump that water one stats up a little bit. You have a wood wood bast, which, which I still don't have until the... I still don't have it till this day. Uh, again, like I said before, there's other mods with the fence down and it's recovery type. Just give her HP, recovery, defense. Congratulations, you're done. Aim for hype. Resist subs, definitely a Titans mod if I've seen one or not. Definitely keep this one around. Get her to Evo 2 when you get a chance. Wood purse, in my opinion. She's not really worth keeping. Sap is useless, especially when you have a fire purse. And attack down is nice, but it's her five star skill. And you already have Sanzang, anyways, which comes with double attack down. You don't need that many attack downs, and you have other mods that can fill her role. So just feed her to one of your purses if you want. I mean, there's no other practicality for her. Jen, that one's just the same as purse. He's just swapped. Again, not worth it in my opinion. Wood Lupin, he is the Nat 4 version of Sanzang. So if you didn't have a Sanzang, I would say, you know, if you could build him, go ahead and build him. But if not, don't really worry about it. But since you have Zan Sanzang, build him for the Astro Guide if you want and just keep him there. Wood Lucy, not even worth it. Would keep it. Not really sure about that one, to be honest. But again, not really worth it. Rudolph isn't a bad mod to have either. You do have some triple square master race ones, uh, especially paired with someone like Incubus. I mean, I could understand you having siphon sets on them if you're farming glacial plains only, but there's other mods that just do siphon set way better than these two. So, I mean, definitely keep one around. Two might be overkill, but at least keep one around if you do just want a solid wood attacker. So if you're doing a clan versus clan fight you have a solid wood attacker on you know more than one team so that's something that you can keep around and you do have one already at evo 3 rabbital ribital whatever the heck you want to call it again not really worth it yes 70 and 50 percent for the skills but you have sanzang uh wood siren i'm assuming that you're building her for victoria perfectly fine then let's go over here to your light and dark mons which you seem to have a decent amount of uh your light scub is here you have her super evoed variant looks like you're working on skill books for her as well she's on hp hp triple hp interesting um you could definitely give her some defense if you want i mean she doesn't really actually nah she does she benefits from adrenaline, so actually, take that back. That, that's fine, dude. That's fine. Um, If you could get her, even though this is impossible to do, but if you can get her with a little bit more resist, she would actually be quite well. So keep the HP, triple HP setup on her, but give her a little bit more resist, and she can be one of the mods that just, just make people want to curse. I mean, there's no other way around that. Uh... But congrats, man. Congrats. Light Jack, you have her on a SP Siphon set. What is that? Attack, attack. HP, attack, attack. Useful. But let me check out your other mods before I say too much about her. She is crit reliant, which you have no crit on her. So both her morale boost and her hunter is just being wasted because if they don't activate... The skills are useless, so keep that in mind. Uh, Light Jack is pretty solid, though. I only use mine in Colossus, but we'll talk about that siphon set later. 
if you're going to invest in her, definitely make sure she has max crit rate first. So at least crit rate, attack, attack, but she's very, very squishy. So sometimes crit rate, attack, HP works better. Just keep that in mind. Then you have a light tiger, sleep and hunter, and he needs crit, which you do have max crit on him. I don't have much advice on him. I mean, you could probably use him in a PVP environment. Not really sure if I would recommend it, but we'll see. You do have a Light Shiva as well. Light Shiva used to be the meta, but with all the Dark Aggressors out now and then Draka, he's not bad, don't get me wrong, but he's not what he used to be either. And he is HP Aggressor, so if you're going to use him on your defense team, definitely aim to get his resist up higher than what it is. I mean, a Pugilist set would be like optimal with almost max resist and some crit rate. But again, this is Tina. This is MSL we're talking about. So not much you can do. But he's definitely more of a defense mon. He's not really used for attacking. He's just used to have high resist and be extremely annoying. You have two like Nikes. Just like your boy, man. Just like your boy. And that one's, uh, that one's variant. Um... And she should be on triple defense. Which she is. And then the other one's triple defense as well. So just like me, um, get these two to Super Evo whenever possible. Uh, they're great for your PvP attack team, in my opinion. You could, you could do my attack team, but slightly better if you want. I mean, I could definitely show you that after we're done here. But congrats on the Nikes. Um... Aim to get their crit rate and their resist higher. Uh, if possible, maybe throw them on intuition. If you can get good resist subs and crit subs on them. Not necessary. Not necessary. Not necessary. I'm over here struggling. But it could. It could help you out with damage. That's my goal on mines. But, I mean, as they are, they're perfectly fine. This one's actually not that bad. Then you have Light Odin, who is Evo 3 already, and she has the HP lead. Like, holy crap, man. Like, you have, like, Elio's account, but better. Hers is 40 plus 2%. So you could definitely run her as lead for your PvP team, and she should be triple HP. HP, HP, HP. Yep, she's triple HP. Her only problem, though, is... Not really crit rate, but she has no resist. If you're going to use her in PvP, of course, aim for resist. I know it's hard, and I know it's difficult. But aim for resist, because if she gets CC'd, there goes your heals. There goes your tanky mind, because she's just going to sit there getting her head smashed in. Uh, Light Fennec. Great mon for Colossus, in my opinion. And Clan vs. Clan. If you had other Light Mons, you could definitely run her and B10, but you don't really need her, so there's no point in me focusing too much on her. You have a Light Sura again. Decent healer. Very decent healer, and it's nice to have a Light healer, and you do have some resist on him as well. Definitely more of a Clan vs. Clan defense mon. I mean, you could use him for attack, but I would just go for nukers because people are going to have Fire Dracas and Dark Nihos out the wazoo anyways. Snowy, not really useful anymore. Um, I have a Snowy on my clan versus clan, but easily replaceable. And let's check out his gems though real quick. HP, HP. So triple HP, and he does use Adrenaline to heal himself. His gems are fine. Light Birdie, you have better choices than him, so I'm not going to really divulge on him either. Uh, Light Kiki, she does have exposed weakness and shock. You could build her with maybe HP defense defense or HP HP defense. Um, I do have one for Titans, but I might end up trading her out for other Mons. So I can't really recommend you investing in her at the moment either. There's just other Mons for you to, for you to work on. Light Gemini. Gemini is just not good. Light Kokumaru, you have other aggressors. I wouldn't worry about him either. Uh, Light Venus, she's Evo 1, so, I mean, people are, will recommend you not to use Gleams on her, unless you have another one that I haven't seen. But she's a solid healer, so, 
You can either wait for her to come back around if possible or just substitute her with another Mon if you don't want to waste your gleams on her. But she's a solid healer if you can get her up there, man. Just give her, what is it, triple HP with some resist subs and recovery subs and let her have at it. You do have another light Fennec, but you don't really need him. And you have another light Jack. Which, I mean, if you want it to go like YOLO in B10, just run like, I don't know, two light Jacks and two light Phoenix, and then like die by the second wave. But, you know, that orange ain't worth the squeeze. Light Floor, again, not really useful. You have a light, another light Tiger. Light Slime Knight, Snowy, you do have a light Yaksha. Um, this one can be very, very helpful in Clan vs. Clan as well. Not so much a PvP mon and not sh so much a Titans mon because of her stat allocation. I mean, Predator is going to put out some damage, but it's not going to do as much damage as a mon that's a Sea Striker and Titan. So, cool, nice to have, but I would just throw her my clan versus clan team. Light Yangshi, Jiangshi, in theory. She's great, but I mean, she's only Evo 2. Not really necessarily worth the investment at this point. Light Incubus, I'm not even going to go into him because you don't need him. Again, um, Cleo, isn't this... Who's Cleo? Is that Chloe? Again, she's Evo 2 and her 3 star skill is just Russian Roulette. Not worth the investment. You do have a Dark Gatito. And he does have a square. And it looks like you're going for max crit rate on him. I would prefer Ruin because he has that crit rate boost. Of him being a Dark type. But it is what it is. I don't have any problems with him. I mean, there's, you definitely take a Mon that has a crit lead for him. And let him have at it. Very, very useful for Dragons in my opinion. Um... He could be useful for clan versus clan PvP. If he gets hit, he's he's going to die. Um, I do use one, my only one with a square in Colossus as well. That way I can just burst down, I believe, the light Colossus, hopefully within a couple of turns. But that's his only uses, but what he does is very, very well. So congrats on having one with a square. You do have a Dark Mona who is on a siphon set crit rate attack attack and she is actually on a quite decent siphon set I mean you don't have max crit rate but you have her fully booked and she is on the correct gems for her so uh, kudos to you on that she's perfectly fine this is how a mon that is better suited with uh, siphon set should be used I know you had it on incubus and I think you might have been working on your light jack as well but dark types take priority because they get that crit damage boost when they do crit, which is going to basically outclass even your light jack with Hunter and definitely outclass Incubus with Hunter because he's an RGB mon and they don't get the same modifier as a dark type. So go for mons that are dark with morale boost and Hunter for siphon sets or mons that have morale boost and elemental edge. Those should get priority over anything else. What you do after that, that's that's up to you. That's up to you. So Dark Sura here. He does have a square HP Siphon and Hunter. Um, I could see his uses in PvP. I mean, he has some self-sustain. And then he has a uh, Hunter, single target Hunter. I mean, I could definitely see his use if you could get him up or perhaps get him on Ruin. Because of his crit lead. That could help make up for his, you know, missing 10% crit. So, uh, I mean, definitely... Definitely viable in a PvP slash clan versus clan situation if you want to use him. Dark Nike, uh, she's phenomenal from what I have heard. I don't own one in Dragons. Uh, definitely hold on to her and she is a Evo 3. Evo 3. So you can really build her ho however you want. You could do HP attack attack. You could do crit rate attack HP which might be the best in my opinion to get some damage out of her but some survivability as well. Again, she's pretty much a CC'er if you don't want to use your Sura, which could be useful in um, Tower of Chaos. Could be useful, but I believe this, yep, the stun is only for one 
turn and you're going to need max crit for that to work so do keep that in mind then you have a dark kira definitely not a bad mon either dark kira like carried me in the beginning when i was trying to get one of the story stages done congrats on him um i believe you could get away with using him in titans would he be like optimal no because of his aggression and he doesn't bring anything else to the team other than his shield but you know he's not bad but he's not super duper good either so you could throw him on a defense team if you want he could be annoying on a pugilist set if that is possible Dark Miho, we all know the Dark Miho trick. You have her super, actually get her super evo, which you do have super evo. But, you know, aim for high resist on her. Aim for the high crit rate, which is what you have here. And it looks like you've been doing, so you know how to build uh, Miho. Not really sure about the crit rate gem, because in my opinion, I would maybe do the HP more. Get more attack out of her, but I mean, if this is how you choose to build her, then... It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Then you have a Dark Indra, which I hate you for. Again, another great Sea Striker. One of the best Sea Strikers in the game, in my opinion. Um, he does have a square slot as well. So definitely aim to get him full glass if possible. Again, aim for a Leech set. You should know the format for the Sea Strikers by now since I've only said it like eight times. But grats on him. And then you have Dark Odin as well. Another uh, PvP mon. Probably I would say defense more than attack. You could definitely use her in an attack team. But her paired with other mons on Pugilist. And other mons with nasty uh, 5 star skills. Could definitely be a problem. So do keep that in mind. Um, of course aim for high resist on her. And crit rate isn't necessary. But it would be well appreciated. But very, very solid Mon. I'll go past your Dark Knee Hill because we, you already have plenty of those. And you do have another Triple Square Master Race, Dark Mona. Aim for the max crit rate on her. Crit rate, attack, attack. You could actually can, you could actually use her for farming if you want with your other one. Then you have another Gatito with a square. Dark Seedler uh, used to be a great PvP Mon. I mean, he's still viable now. But the problem is, is that if he gets attacked once, it's rest in, peace to, rest in peace to the squad. But if you want to invest in him, get him to level 60, book him up, and get him on ruin if possible. And that 3-star skill hits like a truck. It hits very, very nasty. Um, I love my Dark Seedler. He's, at the very, very minimum, fun to use. And you could throw him in your Clan vs. Clan team and just let him do what he needs to do. And let him smack dudes and take them out. Dark Fib, again, another PvP mon. I actually use mine in Tower of Chaos as well for Hades, especially because not only does he provide damage and self sustain because of Battle Rush, but his 5 star skill lets him heal the squad. And with Battle Rush, I can ensure that he gets it off quite well. And you can build him any numerous ways. Uh, I think mine's maybe like HP, crit rate, attack, or HP, attack, attack, one of the two. But you can build him any type of way. Again, a very, very solid um, clan versus clan mon. And great for Tower of Chaos. Great for dragons in general. Um, Dark Kraken. You do. Well, Dark Sea Star. You have Dark Miho. You have other aggressors. She's a bit outdated. She doesn't need a siphon set because she's not push pushing out any damage. She just needs defense and some resist and crit rate. So I'll skip her. Dark Jack, I'll skip because you have Water Purse. If you need a passive healer, just use your Water Purse. Then your other Victoria. Again, you can have two Victorias if you want. One might be enough, but you could perhaps use this on one of your Clan vs. Clan teams as defense or your actual PvP defense team because that stun can definitely be annoying. And with her being a dark type, she does get that boost for crit damage if you can get her with that crit. Dark Birdie, I will ignore too because you just have other mons. Um, dark Neza, great self sustainer. Definitely, definitely a more of a Titans kind of mon than anything because she can sustain herself, do some damage, and do defense down. Um, that's pretty much all of her practical uses right now. 
Dark Bulby. I, I personally haven't used my Dark Bulby, even though I've had her since the first time Bulby came around. But if you are going to invest in her, probably HP attack crit rate because her main selling point is exposed weakness, not so much damage. So actually, you can take the crit rate out and give her just HP attack defense just to keep her surviving with the exposed weakness. You could use her in Titans if you want. You could use her in Colossus if you want, actually. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much her sole uses. Um, Dark Rudolph, you can use in Titans. I've seen her use in Titans, and you do her, have her at Evo too. Um, she doesn't have a square slot, unfortunately, so I probably wouldn't build this one unless you somehow got amazing intuition gems. So keep that in mind. I'll just skip these because Dark Misha is fun to use, but you just have so many other mons. It's not really worth the time. Dark Fennec, not worth your time either. Uh, you do have a Dark Yuki, just like your boy. You still in my account, man. Um, she's just a waifu. She's just a trophy mon, really. You have another Dark Jack. Again, you have Persephone. You don't really need her. Dark July. I've actually never seen one. Not, you know, in person. HP Aggressor. But, again, you have Water Purse. If you need a passive healer. If you need one. So, don't bother with her. Dark Gemini. Garbage. Dark Jiangxi. Again, Mons that require Curse are great. If you have all the Mons with Curse. But if only one mon has curse, that orange re really isn't worth the squeeze. Um, Dark Kiki, Dark Kiki used to be my favorite back in the day. I still use mon, mine in Tower of Chaos when I get bored. Uh, I do use her clan versus clan, and I also use mine in Colossus. A uh, great hard hitter if you can get her on a ruin set or intuition set. But with your Dark Monas, your Dark Monas take priority over her unfortunately and you have a dark vampire again not very useful because sap does nothing really in titans damage wise and attack downs great but that combination is just horrible she's the same as um wood purse i know uh wood purse has it switch i believe and then another mind that i said oh yeah jen just the same as those, not really useful at all. Let's check out your storage real quick. Uh, you have some nightmares if you ever wanted to Evo 3, either the water or the wood nightmare. Wood nightmare used to be OP, but of course with the fire jacket meta, something to take into account. Um, water, might water nightmare might be a better choice for you if you wanted to do clan versus clan or PvP. She could definitely be a better choice for you if you wanted to invest in her. Feed your purse to another purse. I'm not really sure if I saw any more authors in your squad, which I don't think I did. Feed your Wukong to your fire Wukong. Shinobi. You do have two fire Shinobis. Great. Phenomenal. Uh, clan, not clan versus clan, but phenomenal Titans mons. Get those out as soon as possible and feed your wood and your water shinobis to one of them at least and get those geared up. Of course, I've already seen said the Sea Striker formula, so you already know what's up with that. Artemis, you could build one of your fire Artemises if you want. Sorry, my dog was making weird noises. If you wanted to and just throw her on one of your defense teams in my opinion and she should serve you well. Shiva. Fire Shiva again, not really worth it. Uh, Water Mari, Mari, whatever heck you want to call her, not really worth it. We went over on my Yoji. We went over your Garudas. Feed those to your Wood Garuda. Then you have another Nightmare. You have another Purse. Just feed them to your Fire Purse or your Water Purse, in my opinion, because Sap doesn't really increase in damage. Feed him to your water purse. Hopefully get her to Evo 3 one day. And she could definitely be very, very annoying. Hades. Give him to your water Hades. You do have light and dark spark it. But it looks like they're only Evo 1. Unfortunately. Well, that one's Evo 2. But if you could get him to Evo 3. He could be very, very nasty. 
in a PvP uh, defense team, especially on Pugilist. But you don't have him at Evo 3, from what I can see so far, which is unfortunate. But if you wanted to use him, he could definitely be annoying like that. You do have a mini Sarah, and it looks like she might be Evo 2. I'll take her out. Um, trying to see what else is mentionable. You do have a Lat as well. Pretty cool. Uh, Tina, I'm not sure if she's Evo 3 or not, but you do have your Mona, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. Let me take a look at these guys as well because I don't remember their skills right off the bat. Radis, Tanya. Then you have a couple Gleams as well. So let me withdraw these guys. And then you have storage for your Nat 3s over here. And you have some Mowgli's actually. Which Mowgli's phenomenal man. I, I definitely love my Mowgli's. Uh, you do have a Shiva here as well. Which, Wood Shiva isn't bad at all if you're running B7, but if you're not really running B7, it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Water Suck, Dark, what is that, Dark Kana. Yeah, all of these are pretty much just your Nat 4s. Hey, you even have a uh, Dark Banshee just like your boy. And then Light Neza. I believe Light Neza is... A decent something. Let me check real quick. Freaking dog, man. Okay. Yeah, you can just deposit him. I'm sorry for taking him out. Um, you could use him in Titans, I guess, if you want it. There are other mons, though. But, I mean, it does help to have a mon that is elementally, uh, elementally not challenged because, uh, you know, RGB has nothing on the dark type so it wouldn't affect him damage wise okay your uh, dark Sarah is only Evo 1 and she doesn't have a square slot so no siphon set for her uh, then Neza you can actually use in Titans so good thing I brought her out and she doesn't require a square slot do HP HP defense or HP defense defense aim for high resist and let her do her business she's gonna blind the Titans and weaken them even at Evo 2, she should be okay. You have a couple other Nezas, and I'm sure in the future you'll pull some more. So you can get her to Evo 3 eventually. So not a big deal at all. And then where's, was there anyone else I pulled out? Maybe that was it. Yeah, maybe that was it. So quickly going back over this, uh, definitely invest in your Fire Leo. You can run Siegfried on a Siphon set. But you have two Dark Monas, which I would just run on Siphon sets anyways. And the rest, I mean, you can just pause this video and feel free to go right through it. Uh, let me quickly sh just show a possible PvP team for you. This isn't like grade A, super duper amazing. But, but you know, it could definitely get you... Pretty decent in the game in my opinion so you can keep your light suck but I would take light suck off and not use Gatito because if Gatito gets hit he's going to die but I would definitely run something like this where is your light Odin at you could run light Odin light Nike light Nike and then your suck and you should be good to go with this team my boy I mean I'm not sure how far you're gonna get I run a similar setup, but instead of like Succubus, I have a Light Siren. And it, I mean, it doesn't give me like to heroes, but I can definitely get to, I believe, the second tier, which is maybe challenge, Challengers or something. I don't know. I'm not too hard into PvP. I've been there maybe once or twice. I'm not too hard in it. But definitely try and run a team like this. Just watch out for Dark Mons. It could definitely be a problem. But you shouldn't have any problem surviving in my opinion I mean the team that you had before probably was doing work especially with Gatito getting his SP off but that one might be a little bit more safer for you um and then and you could run through your Tower of Chaos if you haven't done it already light suck 
obviously take away your purses but put in your two dark monas and maybe another mon even if it's sig at evo 2 level 60 and just let it auto probably into like floor 80 and then you actually have to play for floor 80 maybe 90 and 100 and be done but let's take a look at another potential b10 team take your dark miho out you can keep light suck in there but i would use someone instead like your dark mona because not only is her animations quicker but she's going to hit a lot harder because she is a mon hopefully with some decent crit on this one and i believe she's on a siphon set already and you know she's skill booked up and she's an attacker type so she should help your runs to the best of elio's abilities if anyone out there has seen this video you could always recommend something to him as well but i would just take out my your dark miho and run it with dark mona instead that should increase your run times fairly fairly well and if you're gonna do b8 um pretty much the same thing i mean you can actually just run your two dark mona since i didn't know that you had dark mona but you could run your two dark monas and I'm trying to think of who else because the SP siphon is beautiful you could run your two dark monas and water valk if you wanted to and who else or just my mind just totally went blank but you could run two dark monas and a water mona with your light suck if you want it and they should be fine if you didn't want to use light suck for whatever reason even though she's a sp battery two dark monas two water monas congratulations you beat in the game you could use your wet barona here there's just a whole bunch of different options for you so your b8 runs should f your mods properly geared up should be under a minute with your team and i don't expect your b10 i don't expect your b10 runs taking more from anywhere more from a minute to maybe a minute and 30 especially with that light succubus but that's pretty much it for this account review i mean i obviously it was very very long but you had some surprising mods that i didn't think that you would have um and it doesn't look like you're doing colossus either uh for fire colossus who do i run who do i run Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'm going to pull this up to see who I'm running for my Fire Colossus team. Since I have this up already and the video is already 80 minutes long, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything at this point in time. But for Colossus, your boy is running. Okay, so for Colossus, I'm actually running uh, Water Cotine. I'm using a level 60 Shelly. I'm using my Persephone, my, my Water Persephone, and I'm using Sparket as my Water Sea Striker. But you do have Wet Balrona, so you could do the same for that team. And then my second team, I'm using another, not really Sea Striker, but I'm using Water uh, Sand Wraith, who has Unflinting Strike. I'm using my Water Bast. I have a water bulby and then i have my indra as well but you do have dark indra so that's someone to keep in mind as well and do you have any other water sea strikers you also have hades and siegfried so you're covered on sea strikers if you just want to replace your uh if you want to replace one of your sea strikers or throw them in there with them you should be able to do wood colossus no problem once you get them to Evo 2 and level 60 minimum. But that's pretty much it for this account review. Um, Once again, shout out to Omnikage for allowing me to review his account. Even though I had something going on earlier today that I needed to take care of. But that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys are interested in more account reviews, hit me up on Discord. We can set up a date for me to go into your account and review it. And see what you got going on here. But overall, Omnikage... Uh, I'm definitely impressed. You definitely have a nice pool of mons overall, overall. So you should have no problems building mons, at least for the first wave of Titans. Well, for the first match of each element, in my opinion. Maybe not dark, but you have enough Sea Strikers anyways 
that you could just go in and just YOLO it anyways. But that's pretty much it for this review. Um, as always, guys, to those that has survived watching all of this video, thanks so much for watching. And Omnikage, I hope, definitely hope this helps. If you have any questions, let your boy know, and we can talk more about it on Discord. But yeah, peace out, you guys.